Good day, friends. Welcome back to another Truth For Today. I'm Pastor Mike, coming to you from the Lighthouse Baptist Church here in Seagrove, hoping today's devotion finds you doing well. We're going to take our passage of reading today from the book of Genesis, chapter number 9, in verse number 14. And I'm going to remind us today of a great truth of yesteryear that has been manipulated in the hour we're living in. The Bible says in Genesis 9, 14, this is God's promise to man after the flood. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water shall be no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. We are reading that post-flood where you and I know that because of the wickedness of the, the day and even the wickedness on the earth that God had to hit the reset button on humanity. He did that by destroying the world with a flood, leaving behind for us a lot of evidence so that you and I can look back and, and know for a fact our Bible is true. With that being said, though, he said, I want to make a covenant with humanity after I do this, that I will never do it again. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to put a bow, what you and I would understand as a rainbow, in the sky. And every time you see that, I want you to remember I'm a God of mercy. And in, in the sky, when you see those beautiful colors, I, I want you to remember this, that, that I've made a covenant, that this earth will never be destroyed again. And can I say that God did that for you and I to have a continual reminder that our God is a God of mercy and our God is also a God of justice. Now, we're living in a damn time where that rainbow, that that that, that bow supposedly has been used to represent something else. As a matter of fact, it's been used nowadays to represent something that is totally contrary to its intended purpose. But that is how the adversary works. Everything that God does that is so pure and so right, the devil loves to try to manipulate that and make it mean something or say something it does not mean or say. That bow does not belong to a subset community that is trying to flaunt their sin and trying to act prideful over the fact that they have shaken their fist in the hands or in the face of a holy God. No, that bow belongs to the people of God. And it is a promise that our God is a God of His Word. And can I say this, that for you and I, we must never surrender the things that God has given to us as promises to anybody. So it doesn't matter in the day we're living in how that, that is being manipulated or misused. I want to encourage you to remember anytime you see that fly, every, anytime you see that, that bow, uh, whether it be in the sky or whether it be on a flag, it doesn't mean what people are acting like it means today. No, it means that your God is a God of justice. And it means that the God of the Bible is a God of mercy. And there will be a day when that mercy runs out. But for the time being, our God is reminding us that he keeps his word. I hope today that you and I will not allow the, the adulteration of that emblem to be stolen from the true meaning of what it was intended for our hearts. Hope today's devotional thought will encourage you, remind you of the truth of God's Word, and lift your spirits. And as always, may the Lord richly bless you is our prayer.